Yo, 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 what is going on guys and it's your boy RRB Plays here back again with yet another FIFA 20 squad builder and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing an absolutely insane, incredible 500k weekend league team that is actually built around this storyline Carrasco. As you guys already know, I've already done a squad builder around the storyline Fred. So after this um, squad builder around Carrasco, if you guys want to see another one around, I believe the other storyline card is Belotti. If you guys want to see a squad builder around him then just please let me know down in the comment section below but honestly this Carrasco card looks absolutely insane and I know plenty of people are going to do this card so I thought why not build an absolutely insane team around this card so if you guys do like the sound of that one then make sure you guys do stay tuned and also if you want to see more overpowered squad builders make sure you guys do smash that thumbs up button make sure you guys do subscribe if you are new around here and also turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload man but literally guys I can't stress enough how insane this team really is so enough of me chit chatting let's go ahead let's dive straight into the squad builder baby let's get it let's go <laughs> Okay guys, so as you can see on your screens right now for this insane 500k team, the formation that you guys should use only for chemistry reasons though guys, only for chemistry reasons is the 4-3-3-4 variation. So basically what I'm trying to say is that in game, um, you guys should change formation, you should create a custom tactic preset of a different formation that I will show you at the end of the video. That's why it's important you watch until the end, but basically you will not, you shouldn't use this formation in game basically. There's another formation that you should use and change to in game, but I will show you all of that stuff at the end of the video once i've actually shown you guys a team first so make sure you guys do watch until the end because it will make sense so now that i've got that out of the way we can jump into the first player of this insane team and guys in the striker position we do have a belgian beast he goes by the name of dries martens and dries martens man he is absolutely insane in this game guys it's going to be his normal standard goal card but don't worry man this goal card is absolutely insane bros it really is he is so overpowered he fits the meta of the game and what i love about this card is his pace he's agile he's got good week for a good skill move he's a good finisher as well you just can't go wrong with choosing this card so as you guys can see he's got four star skill moves and four star weak foot he also is very very fast with 93 acceleration and 83 sprint speed he also does have 87 attacking positioning so he gets into very very good positions and he also does have 86 finishing he really is a clinical clinical striker and also guys as you can see man he is so agile his dribbling is absolutely insane out of this world in this game man definitely one of the the best players in this game as you can see he's got 94 agility 92 balance 89 ball control and 91 dribbling Dries Martens honestly is one of my favorite attackers in this game so I really really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up but now guys we must move okay we move we move on in towards the right wing spot and in this right wing spot man we have a beastly insane overpowered foot birthday card and he goes by the name of none other than Hervang Lozano man this 87 rated card is absolutely insane especially now that he has five star skill moves as well this Lozano card is it's just so good guys it really is just incredible I really do love it as you can see he's got five star skill moves and a four star weak foot he is so pacey one of the paciest players in this game with 97 sprint speed and 98 and 98 acceleration he also does have 89 attacking positioning and 84 finishing and 84 shot power honestly that finishing stat should be around 90 because the way he shoots in game is just incredible again he's just so clinical he really does finish the chance that he does get and also what I love about this card again kind of like Mertens is that high agility the high ball control the high dribbling you honestly just can turn so quickly and get past um play so easily with a man like Lozano man he's got 98 agility 87 ball control and 90 dribbling honestly one of my favorite cards to use in this game man I've actually got his footmas card as well but I had to go and pick up this foot birthday card because the upgrade is insane man this Lozano card is just beastly bro so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but now guys in the camp is Position. we do yet we do have yet another Belgian beast and this time it's a midfielder he goes by the name of Raja Nine Golan all right guys now he's not going to be playing cam so don't worry like I said there's a formation change so it will, it will all make sense but Raja Nine Golan is the player that we do have here for chemistry reasons and he is an overpowered beast he is an insane a box-to-box -box midfielder as you can see his attacking attributes are insane and his defending attributes are insane his passing attributes are good his dribbling attributes are good he is just a complete midfielder that's what he 
he is, guys. He's kind of like a cheap icon, like a cheap icon midfielder, man. He's so good um, in defense and attack, man. You just can't go wrong with choosing this card. As you can see, he does have 75 sprint speed and 75 acceleration. He also does have 79 finishing, which is honestly quite good for a player like Nine Gun for a center mid. He also does have 89 attack and positioning, 89 shot power, and 91 long shots. He also does have 85 long passing and 88 short passing. He's got 87 composure, 86 dribbling, 87 um, ball control. Like, guys, literally, man, he is so insane. And then, not even to mention the insane defensive ability that Nine Golden does have. He's got 93 slide tackle, 89 stand tackle, 86 defensive awareness, and 89 interceptions. And, guys, 92 stamina. So, he is just a complete engine, a workhorse. He defends, he attacks, he does everything on the pitch. Literally, he controls that midfield, he runs that midfield. So, that's why I have put him in the squad, man. He is such an overpowered card. So, now we move, guys. We move in towards the left center mid spot. And in this position, guys we do have an absolute beast of a player we do have this Herrera card man this is winter refresh Herrera um Hector Herrera I love this card so much I actually found out how good Herrera was through draft um yeah I never really looked at this card I did a draft I got him and I really really did um love him man he again kind of reminds me of Nine Golan again he's just a well-rounded midfielder a workhorse an engine a, a midfielder that again does all the dirty work but does all that nice stuff in attack as well as you can see he's got 86 attacking position 75 finishing 85 uh, shot power and 82 long shots he also does have as well guys i actually didn't um mention he actually does have four star weak foot which can come in clutch when you get in shooting positions um with this herrera card and also guys as you can see man again his dribbling isn't too bad either he's got 80 dribbling 82 ball control and then his defender stats are absolutely insane with 92 stand tackle 91 defensive awareness 92 interceptions and 78 strength with 98 stamina so again he's a workhorse he's an engine he just controls that midfield honestly this team is just absolutely insane it really is overpowered so Hector Herrera and Nine Golan are going to be the two players in midfield partnered up with Blaze Matuidi man he is going to be the anchor he's going to be that C DM. but like i said it's going to all make sense in the formation change so make sure you guys do watch until the end but we do have blaze matweedy and what i would say about blaze matweedy is that he is an anchor he is a living rock man no one gets past this guy he is absolutely insane and also i would say is that if you guys do want to upgrade from his normal card to that team the week moments card that actually just got released at the time i'm recording um if you guys do want to upgrade um from this card to that card then um yeah go ahead but um he is around like 60k um but yeah man matweedy Tweedy defensively, he is insane as you can see, man. He has 86 slide tackle, 84 stand tackle, 85 defensive awareness, 86 interceptions, and 90 stamina, man. He really is a rock and anchor. He just breaks up the play. He does everything simply and um simple. And yeah, man, he really just is a very, very overpowered player in this game. So now, guys, we move on in towards the defensive lineup. And this defensive lineup, no one is getting past the defense, bros. Honestly. So we're gonna start with the two fullbacks. We're gonna start off with the left back position, and we do have Renan Lodi and it's not any old Renan Lodi it is that Champions League man of the match 81 rated Renan Lodi honestly this card is very very overpowered man it really is he is just so insane he's pacey as you guys can see and also defensively he is good and in game he really does feel overpowered as you get like you know when, you, when you're using a player in game and you can really feel how good they are like those meta kind of cards that's what Renan Lodi feels like especially that future stars but so does this one as well and as you guys can see he also does have four star skill moves which is very very nice when he is attacking but as you can see man he's got 90 acceleration 86 sprint speed 80 slide tackle 81 stand tackle and to be honest those stats do feel um a lot higher in game is what i would say so yeah man renan lodi definitely one of the best left backs in this game so so overpowered so we do move on though in towards that right um in towards that right uh, i can't even speak properly Jeebus Louibus in towards that right back spot sorry um we do have Kenny Lala Kenny Lala man absolutely insane and no guys it's not this 79 rated card it is that 82 rated in form and some of you watching this video may actually have um may actually have his uh what's it called uh what's that card called how am i forgetting moments some of you guys may have that moments lala so you can go ahead and use him but this inform card here still is very very good again the stats may not suggest it but the way he performs in game is a lot better to what the stats do suggest you know he outperforms his 
stats and that's what I would say but Lala is absolutely insane in this game what I would say as well is just maybe get like a catalyst or shadow chemistry style just to increase the pace a little bit um, because I feel like he, he could be a little bit faster but that's it really but other than that man he is a beast defensively he is good as you guys can see there he's got 83 sprint speed and 80 acceleration with a 78 slide tackle 78 standing tackle and 78 defensive awareness he really really is overpowered though in game so make sure you guys do give him a try but now but now guys we do move on in towards the center back partnership and now we're going to start off with the right center back spot and we do have a juicy little um champions league card yet again i'm pretty sure it's another man of the match champions league card that we do have in this squad builder and he goes by the name of Presno Kempempe. Presno Kempempe, man definitely one of the most overpowered cards in this game his 82 rated gold card already feels beastly but this is just a step up man it really is this card is very very overpowered and i feel like he is he is slightly underrated you don't see him too much in the game but i'm telling you guys he is definitely a meta card in this game so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Presno Kempempe. but as you can see he does have 80 sprint speed 75 acceleration 84 slide tackle 84 stand tackle and 81 defensive awareness but again in game he feels so much better he also does have 86 strength as well and at 90 aggression he really is just a beast a tank a rock and he Play, players are just going to struggle to get past this Kempempe card guys players really are going to struggle to get past this card because he is just so so insane but now guys we can move on in towards um the left center back spot and we do have yet another special card in the team and a lot of special cards in this team i just realized a lot of special cards but as you can see man we do have marquinhos his team the week moments card this 87 rated card again is just absolutely insane man it really is these two especially when you partner up marquinhos with Kempempe. Man, they, those two really are just dominant. So as you can see, man, he is quite pacey as well, just like in Pempe with 78 sprint speed and 78, um, and 73, sorry, acceleration. He also does have 88 slide tackle, 88 stand tackle, 87 defensive awareness, and 87 interceptions with 91 jumping and 76 strength. He really is overpowered in this game, Marquinhos, man. He really is. He is just such a good card. And yeah, man, he just, he's just so dominant, so strong, so physical. He really does crunch players as well. So he is just very very overpowered in this game is basically what i'm trying to say so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up team louis moments marquinhos but in the goalkeeper position now boys we do have an 85 rated portuguese man that goes by the name of anthony lopez and lopez is a very very good keeper in this game what i like about lopez is the fact that he does have good reflexes and um good diving that's what i usually look for in a goalkeeper because i feel like they do come in clutch the most but he also does have good positioning as well so you can't really go wrong with using this card he really really is overpowered as you can see he's got 87 diving 80 handling 89 reflexes and 84 positioning man so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up this card but as you can see man this does complete the insane 500k squad builder but we're not done here yet guys i did promise you guys what formation i would show you guys that you guys should change to okay so remember you should do this through creating a custom tactic preset so the formation that you guys want to change to in game for a custom tactic preset remember is actually the 41212 narrow formation this formation is very very good it's so good for like quick play one touch passing one twos um tiki taka style football and it just really works with these kind of players so i would recommend using this formation remember you change in game so chemistry isn't affected and with the front three um it's pretty much down to you guys literally any of these players here that like lozano merton and carrasco can they can play striker or cam so you guys can literally decide based on how you feel um on where to put the players but i mean yeah it's up to you you can literally put lozano striker you can put merton's cam you can put um a carrasco cam a merton striker you can put lozano cam um and carrasco a merton striker it's up to you guys whatever you feel best um for you man but personally if you're asking me personally what i do i would definitely play um carrasco up top and then i would probably play lozano at striker as well and put mertens camp so that's probably what i would do but yeah man you guys can literally do whatever you do it's up to you guys but yeah make sure you guys do use this formation though make sure you've got matweedy in cdm make sure you've got herrera and uh nine golan in center mid as well and of course make sure the defensive lineup is the same but this does completely insane the overpowered beastly 500k weekend league team let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section guys i really want to know what you guys think of this team me personally i really think it's actually so overpowered so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up this team man it will do 
complete damage in foot champions and individual rivals so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up this team but anyways if you guys did enjoy the video if you guys do rate this team if you guys do think this team is sick then make sure you guys do go ahead and smash the like button make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload man but it has been your boy are we plays i hope you guys did enjoy the video and yeah man i'll catch you in the next one peace out baby